Getting to know Option XL20 R454C. That's the topic of this episode of Refrigerant Checkup with Dr. Chuck. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. As our uh, HFC phase down uh, goes into effect, along with it are coming some application specific refrigerant regulations, some of them requiring refrigerants with a GWP less than 150. And R454C, or Option XL20, is going to be an important refrigerant product going forward. So I want to take this chance to give you some of the details, the background, specifically on 454C, um, as its features, benefits, where we're going to see it, and anything else you need to know. So starting off with the basics, it's an HFO-HFC blend. It's got about 21.5% R32 and then the 78.5% or so of R1234YF, the HFO component. Uh, since it's got no chlorine in it, obviously it's going to be a non-ozone depleting refrigerant. And as I mentioned, the GWP less than 150 comes in about 148 as formulated. So it's going to be a very important product, like I said, in those applications requiring less than 150 GWP. It's uh, got about a 10 degree temperature glide. Nothing our industry can handle and design around. Um, we've done all the calculations and the leak scenarios where we're very comfortable saying it can be topped off after leaks. Not an issue doing that in terms of impacting performance. And again, as an HFC, HFO, it's going to be compatible with those PoE lubricants uh, we've been using with the HFCs for the last few decades. One important uh, distinction, uh, it is going to be an ASHRAE A2L listed refrigerant, or it is. A2L. So A being lower toxicity, things that we're all familiar with, class A, 404, 134A, R22, etc. The 2L moves us into the lower flammability classification. So we're not in category one where we were anomaly non-flammable or no flame propagation, but 2L is mildly flammable, uh, lower flammability than the very flammable A3 uh, hydrocarbon type refrigerants. So as an A2L, it will be used in new equipment, uh, there will be codes and standards in place where it can be uh, deployed safely, and we'll all need to follow those as we go forward. So some of the applications we expect this to be found in, typical places where it, uh, in the past, we've used things like 404, 507, R22, even some of the 400 series blend, 407A. All of those low temp, medium temp, commercial refrigeration applications are going to be good places where you want to may think about putting in 454C systems in the future. Uh, Walk-in units, condensing units, uh, distributed systems, self-contained, all of those, uh, cold storage, even heat pumps uh, are going to be good applications. Uh, 454C has some really good performance. Um, I'm going to throw some thermodynamic cycle model results up here just to give you a sense. You can see it has a, you know, a little less capacity than 404. Um, but better uh, energy, uh, better COP numbers in terms of pressures, temperatures, mass flow rates. Those are all close enough in that range where designers, specifiers can get really good systems put together to meet the application, really maximize uh, this refrigerant and its good thermodynamic properties. So we expect to be seeing a lot of this. We're very bullish on 454C, uh, or again, Option XL20, as uh, we call it. Uh, but just want to make sure you understand this is not a retrofit refrigerant. This will be used only in new equipment, only equipment designed for 2L, mildly flammable, and in conjunction with the appropriate standards and codes for the places and spaces it can be installed. So that's the basics on uh, XL20. Uh, again, be on the lookout for it. It is being installed in other regions, and it's starting to make its way into our uh, North America markets uh, now and will only be growing into the future. If you have any questions on anything refrigerant related, as always, please feel free to reach out to the Option team here at Comores. We have a great uh, group of uh, technical support engineers, chemists, uh, regulatory code experts, anything you need refrigerant related, we'll be glad to try and get the answers, get you the experts to do that. Please feel free to reach out. Always stay safe and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.